This generation, uh, as far as video games and their trailers, have become to a point where they're very divisive. Uh, sometimes we get 30 to 40 second teasers of a game that we know is already coming, but the developers still insist on just giving us 15 seconds of pre-roll of developers and credits, and then a short snippet of the game itself that we already knew about, and then ending, and then two months later getting a more either gameplay reveal or cinematic trailer to accompany it. Uh, this list is not strict on any certain limits as to uh, is it a teaser, is it a 40 second teaser, or a three and a half minute teaser. No, this is simply just five trailers that have come out this generation that have just, for whatever reason, impacted me a lot and I just felt were some of the best produced and best developed and whether or not they were specifically cohesive or you know substantial they were just some of the best available i think they get the message that a scientist would not be bound by petty morality i chose to build rapture diving deep below the sea we're treated with an aquatic ambiance and narration from then unknown Andrew Ryan, uh, creator of Rapture, uh, who through exposition and development in, bio, in the original Bioshock, uh, we come to learn he escapes to Rapture and builds this underwater dystopia to just create a new world for people he felt were chosen and a special group. Um, but not to spoil the game because it is it is one of the best games of this generation as far as narrative and storytelling. Um, this particular trailer was impactful in the fact that it uh, yes, it, it is rendered, it's CG, it's not actual gameplay, but it gave you a taste of what to expect from the game. Uh, you're thrust into the, the shoes of this gentleman who uh, sees uh, you know, a little sister, and, uh, just as you're about to uh, seemingly kill her, uh, the big daddy shows up, and a fight ensues, and, uh, it's not, um, <laughs> it's not essentially a one-sided fight, you might think, from looking at the big daddy, you can hold your own, and what this does is this gives you an idea of what to expect, you see there's gunplay, there's, these uh, attacks that you develop and you sort of inject in yourself called uh, at the time we didn't know but at the time are now are, are now known as plasmids and what they do is they give you uh, special abilities this particular one is the I think swarm which is the honeybees uh, that swarm around the big daddy uh, now my favorite part of this entire trailer is right at the end when um, you've you've disabled one big daddy and you're looking down upon him and uh, or them and just as you do you're impaled and there's this brilliant shot of you looking down at your impalement through your stomach and um, you know you're blurry your eyes are getting blurry your visions going and uh, you see the drill then rotate the other direction to come out of you and you turn around just in time to see the drill being impaled into your face uh, what this was this is just a terrific idea of what the gameplay could be within Bioshock Dead Island, yes, a game rife with controversy, uh, both Dead Island and Island of, and Dead Island Red Tide. Uh, but I think that every single person that watched this particular trailer uh, was immediately bought in to the game um, because it's this somber, piano-driven, strings-accompanied piece of this this family's journey this family's tale told in you know uh two minutes of just everything that has gone wrong and what it does is it sets up the zombie apocalypse for dead island 
Uh, did any of this translate to the game? No. Uh, was the game anything like this as far as ambiance and, thr and thrilling and, and fear? No. What this was was uh, Giles Lamb uh, composing a piece to tell us a story about this family. And there's really nothing more I can say that will entice you more than just hearing his music. So I'm just going to let the rest of the trailer play and you just enjoy everything that Mr. Lamb has brought to this trailer because it's just terrific. The Last Guardian. Still a game we're unsure is even coming uh, ever. Uh, there's rumors it's been canceled, rumors that it is jumping to next gen. Fumito Ueda has actually stepped away from Team Japan and Team Ico, but he is still obligated to release uh, this game uh, as he's doing freelance to do so. But this is a trailer released, uh, I believe, at E3 that once again just through simplicity told a tale and told about these two characters uh and what to expect from the game and it's a shame we still have no idea if this game is still in, in existence or even coming out but i think the trailer speaks for itself so enjoy <laughs> Deus Ex Human Revolution, uh, another game uh, which was a prequel to the original Deus Ex back on PC and PS2, uh, another trailer, this one actually developed by Square Enix uh, in their in-house studio, uh, but the game itself was made by IDOS, and what this trailer does is again, it, one, it brings us a brilliant piece from Michael McCann titled Icarus, which not only is suitable for the game itself, but it's just a beautiful piece of uh, choral arrangements and this lovely voice just vocalizing throughout. But it gives us um, a glimpse of Adam Jensen and sort of what he's capable of once he gets out his augmentations. Uh, and it just sets up this beautiful world that we got to play a couple years later and kind of blew a lot of people away. Something. 
what list would it be that I made if it didn't include Final Fantasy Versus 13? Another game revealed in 2006 that we have so little reason to say this game is still coming out. Square Enix refuses to say that it's canceled. Tetsuya Yamura says it's not canceled. Rumors circulating now that it's now going to be Final Fantasy 15, and that's what's going to be the big E3 reveal at the Sony conference. I don't know. I just remember seeing this trailer, running to a friend's house, saying, you have got to watch this. We we both watch it together, mouths agape. Yoko Shimomura's Somnus coming through, accentuating all these beautiful pieces. And it's it's a Square Enix game through and through, just through the detail and everything. It's a Tetsuya Nomura game through and through. There's just so much beauty about this trailer. And I need this game. I've been waiting too long for this game to come out not to get it now. Enjoy Somnus by Yoko Shimomura.